Are you tired of holding the shift key or smashing the accelerate button over and over as you make your way from one side of the map to the other side of the map in Red Dead Online? Do you wish that you could just set a waypoint and let something take you there without very much input from you? If so, watch this video. That's right, there are two features in this game that most people don't know about, and I have no idea why they don't make this much more obvious and clear to every player when you first get started. We could speculate their motivations, but that's not what this video is about. Anyway, let's get to it. The first technique is the semi-autopilot wagon. This works with every wagon I've tested it on. Granted, there's only been a few, but I don't see why it wouldn't with any others. And all you need to do is just get in a wagon, set a waypoint, and start moving down the road along your, along your path. As you're moving, select a weapon and just aim down the sights. When you do this, the game will, I guess, assume that you're being attacked and basically give you an assist. It'll make it so your wagon follows the road, and if you hold down the accelerate key, it'll basically turn your wagon into an NPC wagon going the NPC full speed, which granted isn't always that great, but it's pretty nice to just be able to kick back and let it go on its own. Now, the only problem with this, obviously, is that you're riding down the road with your gun brandished and aiming at random people if they happen to cross in front of your line of sight. And that can instigate some fights, obviously. So the way to get around that, and also to give yourself a much nicer view, is to simply, while you're holding down the accelerate key and the aim button, you want to tap the weapon wheel button, and this will put away your gun. However, when you do this, you need to keep holding down the aim and the accelerate key, and once you do that, you will be essentially turned into an NPC driver. The game will make you whip your horse automatically and turn automatically, and you just ride it to your destination. You will sometimes run into issues with other wagons on the road, so you'll just have to deal with that. But this is pretty nice. You can also go into the settings and make it so that your aim down sights is toggled instead of hold, which is gonna make this technique even that much more convenient. And the other technique is even better than this one because all you need for this is a horse and you don't have to hold down any keys. So for this method, all you need to do is get on a horse and start and set a waypoint just like the other method. You wanna to go to as fast as you can and while you're moving as fast as you can, you wanna hold down the camera key for about three or four seconds until it actually goes into cinematic mode. And if you're on the path, when you go into cinematic mode, it'll again basically turn your horse into sort of like an NPC horse and it'll set the target speed for whatever speed you were going when you went into cinematic mode. So your horse will continue to sprint all the way to its destination, slowing down at the corners, but accelerating again afterward. You can even go into the map and change weapons and do all sorts of stuff. You can't aim at anything in this mode, as far as I can tell, but just about anything else goes without breaking it. Of course, this isn't perfect, and if you're not careful, your horse will run off the road, and once you reach your destination, if you don't actually stop the autopilot, it's quite likely to launch you off a cliff. Because sometimes the horse just keeps sprinting in a straight line, and if there's a cliff there, it will not stop. Alright, that's about it guys. Hopefully this will let you play the game with a little bit less annoyance and fewer blisters on your thumbs. If you found this helpful, press like and share it with your buddies. All right, there you go. Another short video. Have a good one. Bye.